Howdy folks, this video is gonna look silly to some of you, but I know it will help some of you. And the way I know is it would have helped me had I seen somebody else show me a close up of these lures because I wouldn't have ordered all of them. I just got a new order of uh, Nico Bates, a little bit of everything. Some stuff I thought I could use, but now I don't know if I can use them. So all I'm gonna do in this video is I'm gonna give you a close up, tell you how it looks, how it feels. And uh, because Nico is very popular brand, you've seen, you've heard me talk about it. And I'm sure many of you have browsed their website Everything here is very expensive. I mean, the last time I shopped, this order is kind of old. I haven't opened it. The last time I shopped, these were already $6 a pack, I think. So anyway, all I'm going to do now is I'm just going to give you a close up of these guys. So uh, you can determine if you are interested in any of this. First thing I did is reorder the black color of the worms. The black color is really the best. It's natural and at the same time it's high vis. So why do you need any other color if you have this color? It is absolutely amazing. Come winter, I'm going to be fishing pretty much I'm going to be fishing pretty much only this guy. I like that it's kind of shiny, at least when it's brand new. These things last so long that you can catch 100 fish. After 20, 30 fish, they lose all of the shine, all of the flakes, and they still work just the same. My second favorite color is the green color, which works almost the same as the black, but it's not as high vis and sometimes if the water is already heavily stained like right now from algae this color will be difficult to see they still see it i can confirm this on live scope they still see it but i prefer to use this color in the winter also when the water is very clear then sometimes i'm afraid of completely black color. Not afraid, but I can use this color when the water is very clear. And then the other two colors that I have, but I rarely use. I don't know why I, I even have them. This is a just white color. I'm not going to open it. Just white pearl. Nice color, but I prefer the black color for high vis. I don't know why. And there is one here that I actually would use. This is also white, but glow in the dark white, and it glows very good. I have a bunch of those. I'm going to be trying um, crappie fishing at night pretty soon, and I'm going to be using these. I actually think it's good to have a pack of these for night fishing or just not really night, but after sunset. Moving on. These two guys, I'm not going to open them because I have a video with these guys, octopus, extremely soft, extremely stretchy, extremely durable and scented. These guys are good for crappie. You're going to get bass. I mean, you're going to get pretty much catfish, anything with these guys, but it, I still prefer, I mean, it's kind of a lot, right? You need good size crappie or a, a, aggressive fish to commit to this bait because it has a lot of tentacles. Now I caught some small crappie in my video with these guys, but even though it was small crappie, it was spawning season, so they were very aggressive. But uh, I don't know, I, they're awesome. I tested them. I wanna, I wanna have them, uh, at least a pack of them. What is this, stonefly? This I have not used, but I have seen other people use it. Stonefly. I bought it out of curiosity, this thing, because I was thinking, what's the point of using this expensive thing instead of trout magnet? Okay, this is this is what I couldn't figure out. What's the point? Because trout magnet has no action. 
And this thing has no action either. There is nothing that can have action. It has a bunch of tentacles. It looks very realistic, very stretchy, like everything that Nico makes, very stretchy. I'm sure it will be durable. I don't smell nothing. I don't know if they were supposed to be scented. I don't smell nothing, which is a good thing because if you smell the trout magnets, they smell nasty. But here is the thing. I think the trout magnet will outfish this for the simple reason that doesn't have any tentacles and appendages and stuff like this. All of these legs and whatever you want to call them, appendages, they make it more difficult for the fish to swallow the insect. The fish is making a judgment. Is this going to be difficult to swallow? Not just fit in the mouth, but then later swallow. I believe all panfish make this judgment. This is why I prefer trout magnet. This is why I prefer nickel worm. No appendages. Very easy to swallow it. But I will give them a shot. The size is almost the same as a trout magnet. I don't see the point. I honestly, without having fished them, I don't recommend these guys. I don't see, if, if you know how to fish this, because you're going to have to twitch this. You're going to have to dis give this guy action. If you know how to fish a lure like this, then you have enough skills to fish a trout magnet. Trout magnet is cheaper, just as durable. And in my opinion, because it is easier to swallow, we'll get more bites, even though it's slightly larger. This is the stonefly. They have another stonefly called Dappy. Dappy stonefly. What is the difference between these two stoneflies? I will make one video just, just with them uh, fishing them. This is right now just giving you a close up. Uh, the box is kind of nice. It fits snug, but it's easy to open. I don't know if they're supposed to be scented, but uh, but they don't smell. Wow, this one is this one is extra soft. This one is oh, this one is a lot softer. No, I don't need to open the other. This one is a lot softer. I don't know if this will have. Uh, effect like if a fish grabs just half of it and it's so soft it feels natural it may come and grab the other half interesting if this is important to you i'm not sure if it is important but if, if it is important for you this dappy fly focus body focus this dappy fly does appear to be softer now here is the, the lure that I think is useless, at least to me. This lure, folks, is absolutely, what is it called? Dappy Mayfly. This thing, folks, is absolutely tiny. Oh, I'll be damn, it's not that soft. No, it is, it is, it is, look. It's staying like goo on my finger. This will actually be, be difficult to work with. Look at a trout magnet and look at it's, it's just as big as two of these. Now, why would you fish something so small? I'm not saying fish will not hit it. Not just bluegill. I believe crappie may hit this too. You're gonna need a very small jig head if you want this thing to look natural on the jig head. But once you put it on a tiny jig head, and I have tiny jig heads, and I, I have tiny hooks, you can always put it only on a hook and put a drop shot on top of the hook. You don't have to fish a jig head every time. And I'm sure you will catch fish just fine with it. But the problem is, even a tiny bluegill will choke this all the way at the back of the throat. Do you really want to use the forceps to remove hook from the back of the throat on every fish you catch? What's the point? Tell me. It's not that you're not going to catch fish. Heck, maybe even a bass. Maybe you're going to find a bass that will eat this too. But what's the point? It's just too small. 
This is for me strictly for these people. There is a group of people that are crazier than me. Uh, they do this, uh, like, uh, what is it? Extreme filly fishing. Uh, they do this uh, micro fishing, micro fishing. They, they catch these tiny species. Some of them just barely larger than my trout magnet here. And they know their names and everything. And so for them, maybe for micro fishing, maybe that's the purpose of this thing to exist. But the penfish that I fish, even the smallest bluegill, this is just not practical. It's not a matter of if it will deficiate it. It's, it's just not practical. Two more things I want to show you. Uh, before I go, I'm going fishing this weekend strictly for bass, nothing but bass, because I got a bunch of bass tackle that I need to review. I ended up somehow with a 20, two 2500 size reels and one bass rod. So I got to catch a bass. So I ordered some of their bass worse. Now this Helgramite here, three inch Helgramite, looks guys, I'm going to open the box now, but looks absolutely amazing i have not fished this i have not opened the box yet and i can already recommend this lure i mean it looks fantastic how is how is a bass not going to eat this look at this thing imagine I, I, I'm thinking of fishing it on a float. How will a bass in the vicinity resist this? Look at the sparkle. It's shiny, the detail. How will a bass resist this? <clears throat> I'm losing my voice here. As far as stretchy, yeah, it will stretch, but it's not crazy soft, to be honest with you. It's not crazy soft. You can find softer, like these dappy flies are softer and some of the Z-Man lures are softer. I think this is, this is an awesome lure to experiment with and you will definitely catch something with this. Who is not gonna eat this? The other lure that looks kind of disappointing is these tadpoles here. I mean, they just look very pale. Now looking at the tail, I haven't fished them. I'm going to open them for you just now. Looking at the tail, I think I will still catch something with them. Just because look how much tail we have. And again, if I throw this and twitch it, this tail is going to have a ton of action. Now, this lure here looks amazing, but you got to you gotta work it. You know, you got to twitch it, you got to work it. This guy, if I throw it off a float, I mean, this is going to have constant action. And okay, the color is not, I mean, they should have put some kind of sparkle, something shiny, man. Mm, reasonably soft, reasonably stretchy. Not too soft, not the softest. So, <clears throat> I don't know, it's all about the action. I think the appearance is a little underwhelming. There is no detail here. There is no sparkle, no color. It's a little, <clears throat> I'm losing my voice. Time to end the video. It's a little underwhelming. So I'm not impressed with this guy. I <clears throat> definitely don't recommend these, no, these little dudes. Even this, what's the point? I mean, a trout magnet will do better, <clears throat> in my opinion. The only things that I kind of really loved from the whole order is the Helgramites. They look amazing. And of course, you can never get enough of these. Come winter, nothing will beat this. Okay, I completely lost my voice. This never happened before. But yeah, this is long enough. Thanks for watching. I'm hoping this will help somebody. See you soon. Bye-bye.